All right, moving right along, we've got a new feature in version 4, which is day to night conversions. This is going to be a lot of fun. So what I'm going to do is quickly just open up an image. Inside this image, you can see it was taken roughly around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And we're going to attempt to turn this into a twilight. So obviously the first step we're going to go click on is day to night. That'll open up a bunch of adjustment layers here. And suddenly it's midnight. Drop the opacity down on this layer so we can see what we're doing. And the next step we want to do is click on window lighting. This will open up a new layer with a mask, which will allow us to paint in our windows. So to make it a little bit more professional, I'll just quickly set up a selection around the windows. You don't need to be super, super accurate with your window selections here because you can, you're working on a mask, so you can always edit it later. One of the beauties of working with masks. Just quickly go around this furniture. Holding shift to add to my selection. As you can see, there's a little plus sign next to my tool there. <clears throat> and that's very important because if you don't hold shift before you do your first click of a new selection, it will just start a new selection and all your old selections will disappear and you'll have to do it all over again. Okay, holding shift, click those corners, clicking up there, and just like shift adds, alt subtracts, so when you click alt, you can use the tool to remove parts of your selection. So using shift again, I'll select all three windows. Oh, we'll keep going. All three windows like that. And then using Alt, I'll just knock that middle part out. Alt, knock that middle part out. And Alt, knock this balustrade out. And there's one little bit left here. Okay, how does that look? Looks like all the windows are done. So now I'm going to use my brush. And I'm just going to paint the windows in. Very, very simple. Bang, they're done. Now, obviously it's not quite looking realistic yet. There would be a bit of a cast from the, the light shining through the windows here. So I'm just going to set up a little area that the light can reflect into, which would be going around here, around this tree, and around here. Just going to paint. Oh, whoa, way too strong. Let's try that at 25%. Like that. Okay. Little bits come over here. No problem. Painting a little bit more by the furniture here. Maybe a little bit more by the lights here. I'll do that a little bit less. I'm going a little bit heavy handed here. There's a light, of course. We could turn that on. Just by painting over it, making the brush the right size, and literally just painting the light on. Make the brush a bit bigger. Now the light's on. Oops, a little bit too bright there. We'll go down to 40%, maybe 30%. Okay, as you can see, there's a little bit of trial and error involved here. You just basically paint around with the lighting so, till it looks like how you'd like it. Then once you finish, you go down to this day to night layer and just slide the opacity up until it gets darker and darker till you get it to the darkness that you like. Obviously at 100% it's going to look crazy. But you can obviously slide this up and back how you'd like it. Once that's done, you can either flatten layers or create a, a merge visible, which is Command or Control Shift Alt E. So make sure you're in the top layer when you do that. And then from here, you can just work on like a normal layer. So I'll just use the, uh, the dodge tool to lighten up some areas, to lighten up the house. And then, of course, if you want, you can use an adjustment layer. And maybe if you want a bit more saturation, you can up the saturation or something like that. That's up to you. You can do it however you like it there. And voila, you have your first day to night.
it's as simple as that and obviously you can spend as long or as little time as you want on these um, they are a lot of fun to do and uh, they produce a, an outstanding result well I hope you enjoyed the plugin so far and um, we'll see you next time in the next video